Hi viewers, welcome back to the Smart Excel. In this video, I'm going to tell you about how to do data validations and control the template in restricting cell values. And prior to entering the cells, you will not be able to go to the next cell. So there have been some sort of limits we can restrict for the templates. So I'm going to show you what actually it means, right? So this is a template and I want to restrict some values over here, one, two, and three. So whenever I want to type something, it would give me restrictions that this has to be, these three columns have to be filled, such in details, brand name and the quantity. Suppose if I want to type any name over here, so you can scan the restriction again because I have to put only a number. And later, if I put any brand, and now if I try to enter here again, so again, there is a restriction because I have to fill this. So once I fill this, and, and then I put, so you can see now it says allow you. So the same thing you can't do here. So I get a restriction. So all this yellow highlighted columns should be filled before I get into this. So how to do that is what I'm going to show you in this video. So if you have to go desk go to the data validation under data tab and in data validation you can see so you can have restrict the whole number or decimal number. I'm going to show you whole number first. Once you have whole number and should be greater than Zero should number. We can't have greater than, should have greater than zero. So, how it works is like if you want to put here zero, it's giving you a restriction. And if you want to put here any name, then it's stopping you. And now, if you want to put a decimal, also, it's just stopping you. So, if you think that you have to have, a, you can have a decimal number, then go back again. And here go to decimals and greater than zero again. Now you can see if I want to put 2.1. So now it's allowing me. So it's up to you if you want to use a whole number or decimal number. So this is our first criteria has been cleared. Now let's go to the next criteria. Now I want to put a brand name so I can use any uh, any specific name or just can have the So there is no restriction in this. Now again, if I told you if I make this, this is not going, it has to not allow me here. So I have to put a restriction in this form, column. So for the quantity also, I'm going to do is more the data validation. And here also, I can put decimal if, or if you have a specific set of data, you can put whole number. So it depends on how you have. So this is going to be greater than zero. So before going to this, now if you can see there is no validation here. Now suppose if I remove this and I want to remove this and if I want to put any name. So first of all I will put a restriction that unless and until this column is entered this column should not be used. So it's a simple formula. There are two formulas in that which I showed in the topic. So I'm going to show you the easy formula here and then formula. So now let's go here. So we can we can go in data validation and here we have to go is to the list and in the list sorry in the custom in the customs Try to remove this before uncheck this. I'm going to show what is happening if you don't uncheck that you know, once. So if this is selected, what is going to happen? The formula is not going to work. So the formula is will be like equals to len open the parenthesis. So this is the area I want to look for. So it's better to use a Hit F4 and the left dollar sign. Close the parenthesis. It should be less than and equal to zero. So this should be less than equal to zero. And then you can put an error message also. So you can put an error message like right? 
is to column D. This is column D. Or you can please mention this. Please. The X fails. It will give an error, error message to the person who is using template. So now I not select, I not checked out this. So if I see that. And now without using this, and here I'm going to type something. So this is not restricting me at all. So go back, go to data validation, and try to uncheck this. And okay. So now if I want to type anything, and hit enter, so you can see, please fill the specs in details column first, or you can please fill D column. So if you try to retry also, it's not allowing you. So you can either cancel and you can see it is gone. Now let's me fix it this for you. As I told you if I type any number, uh, again, this is restricting me. So I'm going to type here five. So I'm going to type here now as I try to see that if I can put any number or any name. So you can see now it is allowing me. So be careful always when you select this, try to uncheck this. So this is a simple way. This is the video on one. So I'm going to show you next video on how to make for more uh, for two or three cells or the same which I showed you here. Then when you try to type out all the three, how to restrict all the three. So I hope you find this video useful. Let's see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and Let's come and meet in a video two and three in the same thing.